Yo, what's up guys? Schizomenic here. So, you guys know I enjoy my harems and I partake in the fan service. I don't fucking go as insane about it as some other people. And I damn sure am not as tame as other people are with their love of fan service. But, you know, I indulge in it probably in a mid-range amount. You know, not body pillow obsession, but by manga and anime of it obsession. And we already know about Sekirei's uh, manga release this year, and apparently the revitalization of the manga, period. Which fucking confuses me, but whatever. Uh, anywho, today is an unboxing day. And usually I wouldn't put up an unboxing video, but I think this is one of the few times... I think this, this deserves an unboxing. Because as you all know, a show that I enjoyed the hell out of when I was watching it and when it was airing, because I actually read the manga for it before the anime was announced, was a show known as Monster Masume. I reviewed the entire season on my goddamn uh, vlog channel before I made this anime channel dedicated, which I still need to review the OVAs, because I've seen the OVAs, I just haven't reviewed them. And, uh... Monster Musume's anime adaptation has been out for at least, I want to say, almost two years at this point. And part of everyone was kind of wondering, what the hell, since I got the license for it, where the fuck is the anime release? Well, it turns out the anime release was being delayed in the U.S. because of the OVAs, which for those who don't know, the final OVA that came out for Monster Musume came out like, what, three or four months ago. So they just, they they probably had to wait to get the materials to do it. Which is why the box set for this bitch uh, wasn't even put up on pre-order until like maybe a few months ago. And it wasn't just a simple, oh, here's a fucking Blu-ray or a DVD combo pack. Maybe with some extra features in the OVAs on it. No, I think since I knew what they were dealing with. And this might have been the other reason why this fucking box set took so long to come out it's because <laughs> this is the premium motherfucking box set all right now look as i said i've indulged in my uh harem anime purchasing but this is bar none the lewdest motherfucking piece of anime merchandise i own now like literally there is i, I own nothing else that compares to this shit right here i this is literally one of those boxes I'm, I'm, I'm legitimately afraid to leave out in the open in my room because I'm going to hear shit about it. It's funny. I can leave Sekirei out. I can leave everything else out because Sekirei and all those other harems at least try to leave some type of imagination to it. Maz Masume, as you can see here, does not give a fuck. And if you're those who were asking how much was the premium box set, it was $97. So I spent $100 on Maz Masume. Actually, probably more than that considering... The manga volume zone. I probably spent about, if I had to take a shot in the dark, I probably would say near 200. Because I'm pretty sure each volume of the, of Monster Mr. Well, was either was either $10 or less. The point is I've spent almost 200 bucks on Monster Mr. Because I'm a weak bitch. Granted, this was over the passage of time and volume 12 comes out in August. This was all at once and I also bought Splatoon 2 in the same week. So, uh... Things are fun, but that's on um, that's on boxes, bitch. Because I've I've glanced at what comes with this, but not like the my. It's not like I was eyeing what came in the special edition the whole fucking time before it released. It's kind of like I glanced at it, said I want the premium edition, and I bought it. So we're gonna see what comes. Out. I know it's a lot, and yes, it does come with all the extras. It even comes with the like the fifty something small clips they did. For those who don't know, when Monster Masume, when the anime was airing, they had like these small little like minute or so clips of the Monster Girls in like various situations. They never really talked. It was just really small animation. It was just really short videos of them and just doing shit. Like I think there's one of Saria trying on a bra because we have the running joke that she's a horse and her fucking breasts are huge. Can I just slide this off easily? Survey says no. Let's try it. We're going to try. Because I don't want to rip any of this. This is, I mean, it's a limited edition, damn it. Who wants to fuck up a limited edition? Nobody wants to fuck up a limited edition. Also, especially a limited edition that costs $100. 
considering I probably could have just got the Blu-rays for like 40 So that's been an extra $50 on limited edition stuff. So needless to say, I want to keep the limited edition stuff. So as you can see, this thing is... Okay, oh, it's like an envelope. Okay, all right. Uh, Jesus. This is... Oh my God. Oh, it's shaped like a heart. What's that? I don't know what that is. Oh no, I just realized. <laughs> Take a guess of what you're looking at. It took me a minute to realize. I said, what is that? I said, what's that? Look. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, they, <laughs> they didn't give a fuck, yo. I don't think this would get copyrighted. It's not like I, I, I have ads on this channel anyway, but still. <laughs> These niggas did not care. Yo, okay. So we have an art book. Which is, yeah, it's about what I thought. So they have it of each of the girls. I wonder if Lala's in here, which she probably isn't, and I'm offended. Oh, this is like full on. Oh, oh, okay. Wow, that is, geez, this must have been all promotional. Yeah, this was all promotional art. And then this is, I don't know what this is. I don't think this was in the manga, was it? Wow, they did not give a fuck. Okay. It's not a long... Okay, so yeah, it only includes up to Ragnara. Which means there's no... Yeah, there's no Lala. Which I'm a little disappointed. But the, but then again, the anime was going to do that anyway. Because the anime... Because Lala isn't introduced until like the last, what, two? Two episodes? Four, if you count the OVAs. So, here is... Oh, they added... Oh, this is another cool thing. These are all the end cards from every episode. If anyone remembers, after every episode, they did end cards of a particular species. Most of the time, it was about the species that was introduced. So there was one for Lamia, Centaurs, Harpies, Slimes, uh, fuck, what else? Uh, Arachne, Arachnids, uh, Mermaids, uh, yeah. I think I'm probably missing one. I don't think they did one for Dulahans, but, uh. Yeah, so this is every end card from every episode, which I'm not going to open up, but you have an idea what it looks like. I think there's a Monster Girl book that you can buy that has the same kind of stuff in it. It's not the exact same stuff, but similar stuff. So if you care about your Monster Girl encyclopedias, here we go. Okay, uh, I think, what is this? Is this just a bookmark? Or I'm going to have to tip this over, aren't I? I don't want to tip it over, though, because I don't know what else is in here. We need... We need to have everything a fucking surprise, but this does not feel like, yeah, this is, okay. I'm going to ruin the, the Opie box and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to have to tip it over. This is, this is flat out fucking ridiculous, by the way. Okay. So this is just like a space holder, right? Yeah. I think this is just a space holder. It's fine. All right. So we got three boxes. We got first, the first box, which is, oh, we got fucking stickers too. Okay. So this is the, oh, this is the soundtrack. Oh, wow. Okay. So you get the soundtrack with the premium edition. You get stickers. You get the cards from the episodes. You get the fucking monster book, which seems to be a whole bunch of art and some small comics. This is the, okay. This is the Blu-ray because you can see Blu-ray at the bottom with me on the front. Uh, Poppy, Mia, oh wow, there's even little infographs from the episodes. Can I, can I do this properly? Yep. So one of these, I forget what you call these things, lithographs, I believe. You get that, Mia's on the first Blu-ray, Sue's on the second Blu-ray, and... Uh, Mero is on the third Blu-ray, which includes the OVA. So the third one's the OVAs, and then the other one's like 1 through 9 and 10 through 12. So, okay. So that's that. It's on the back. It gives you all the episodes of what you're dealing with. And these, and these are all dubbed. And then here's the DVD version, or the trash version for all you plebes. Uh, I'm just being stupid. I'm being like a... Sue's on the cover... Mia's still on the front. I actually like this Mia art more than the other one. Uh, Centauria, Poppy, and Rachnera. Or Rachnason. Which, uh, 
I like how they're covered up. It almost like it's like the joke is it's like the censored version, even though it's not censored, but it's like the censored version is this these are this disc art, and then the uncensored disc art is fucking these because they're like half naked on all of these. Well, I guess that's not true. I'm lying. Alright, I'm lying. Don't pay me any attention. I'm I'm distracted by the oh buy box still. That shit that shit threw me off. I was not expecting that at all. Jesus Christ. But you know, it's a, it's a show that has no shame. Oh wow. Jesus, that's a, that's the soundtrack? This fi- there's no way. There's 40 f- they gave us the whole goddamn soundtrack. That's 45 tracks. They give you the whole fucking soundtrack. I thought they gave you the don't they give you the Yeah, here it is. Let's see. The Japanese TV spots and promos. Yeah, there we go. The monster shorts. So I guess the monster shorts are also on the OVA disc, which is cool. Okay, so yeah. So they give you the fucking... Okay, so soundtrack, OVAs, monster, the the shorts, uh, Blu-ray, DVD, fucking stickers, info cards that were from the show, art, and then even like the small little... Apparently, Sue and Arachnera get to be the stars of the show as far as this little extra box is concerned. Actually, there's some. It feels like something's in here. Fuck. Okay. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I can't do this with one hand. Okay, you're gonna lay in the booby box for a second. Oh, I got ribbed. Oh, wow, there is something in here. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, all right. I lied. There is something in here. I did not realize this. The box got ripped slightly, but it's fine. Because this is going right back in there anyway. It's like a poster, I believe. (sighs) Shit, okay. Okay, it's nothing special. Although the poster does look like it's laminated. It's like, it's just the main cover art. It's just a laminated version of the cover art. Was that the only thing that was in there? Yes, it was. Okay, so that's fine. That can go back in there because it's not anything special, and that art is everywhere. It's not like even special edition art. That's literally the promotion art. I think that was like the first major art revealed for the anime when it got announced. So there's nothing really special on that end. Get in there, damn it. No. This is shit that you guys do not care about. Then again, most of you probably don't even care about unboxing of this show. Because most of you look at this as hentai trash. So, uh, I'm probably going to get a whole bunch of disgusting nigger comments in the fucking comment section. I want Sue up because I'm Sue biased. Uh, actually, damn it, Sue Ragnar is not on any of these covers. If she was, I would just... Fuck! Okay, Sue's on the oh, is on that. Is, is Who's on the inverse? Okay, Ragnar is on the inverse of that. What I might do... Is I might fuck. See, but they don't ever put the info on the back of this one. It's like it's like they want to say reversible cover, but the information's only on one side. Put the information on both sides, damn it. Then it's a reversible cover for reals. Fuck it. Who's on the inside of the poppies then? Oh, marrow. Okay. This was this is a lot of extra effort for for me talking about dumb shit. Okay, so this is what we got. It's actually a pretty good haul of stuff. You got poster in there, stickers, info cards, art book, Blu-ray, DVD, soundtrack, all 45 tracks in the goddamn show. Uh, the OVA, it's dubbed, it has the shorts. For $100, I, you know, I, I would say that's money's worth. I'm not really mad at that. I kind of want to open these up, but not right now. Um, but yeah. So if any of you all had a moment of weakness and indulged in your Monster Girl habits, uh, let me know if you got your your box set and how you're enjoying the dub. I've heard clips of the dub already. Uh, Almost everybody sounds fine, although I don't like the direction they went with Tonisha, who isn't on any of these. Uh, Actually, she's on Tonisha's her. They did like this Valley Girl thing with her voice, and I'm not super fond of it. Everybody else, for the most part, sounds fine. I know a lot of people don't have, have issue with uh, Poppy's voice actress because it's Brittany Karbowski who I like Brittany Karbowski I just don't necessarily think she does a good I think for Poppy who's supposed to be like dimwitted the same thing she's supposed to be similar to Sue 
And she sounds, but Brittany Karbowski innately sounds like a smart girl just through her voice acting. So for, for her to be voicing Poppy is almost like a joke in itself. Um, it's not bad. Although I will openly admit, this is a show I, I literally get embarrassed watching in English. It's, it's one of those shows that hearing it in English just fucks me up. Dead ass. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna bullshit you on that one. It's because it's because it's, it's, it, it like. I don't know. I think it's because like the, the the there's so frequent sexual harassment type scenes in this show that like it bugs that like hearing it is like literally watching porn and it's just like fuck. Which is why I didn't have a problem in Japanese because I knew it was coming and I'm used to hearing. Japanese girls moan. I know that sounds awkward, but let's be real here. If you're an anime fan and you enjoy harem, that's the reality. You're used to hearing a lot of Japanese girls moan. American girls, not so much. So it's, it's just, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, as I would say, a titillating experience. <laughs> ah! I'm going, watch this, watch this video get flagged for inappropriate content, bruh. Watch this video get flagged. I would be in tears. It's funny because, as I said, I don't have ads on these videos. So please support me on Patreon because I'm probably, because, you know, obviously I'm not making money off of this and this is comedy gold. Fucking, I still like the show. I don't regret buying it or any of that crap. I'm just, you know. Uh, I guess I might go ahead and watch some fucking. <laughs> I might go ahead and watch the English dub anyway and see how, how far I can make it before I can't, like, mentally handle all the, 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 the English. Sexual frustration that I'm going to hear. Um, hope we get a season two. I've been keeping up with the manga, so I've already I've been up. I'm up to date on the chapters. I just don't know what the translated chapter fifty three and fifty four are, which is the Sue stuff, which I may get into. If people want me to talk about Monster Masume more often, I totally will. I have no fucking problem doing it. So, yeah, this has been almost twenty minute unboxing video. I apologize. It's just christ some of this shit threw me off i did not the the opi box is literally now the lutest fuck there is very i don't think there's a there's gonna be an anime i like that i buy that will beat this 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 is this is god tier loot shit everything else i kind of expected but the titty box bruh it's just, it's like it's over it's fucking over anywho uh, also, just on a random side note, because, you know, I don't want this video to feel completely lewd. I did buy My Hero Academia and One Piece volumes. I'm still collecting these, so, you know, those are the things that exist. <laughs> uh, and that's it. Uh, I think I'm done here. Uh, I don't have a way of exiting in this video, because this, I'm already incriminated, so fuck it. Uh, uh, this has been, uh, the schizomanic, uh... What can I say, bitch? I'm crazy. Ah!